So what caught your eye? What caught my eye is Ted Pick. Ted Pick is 49 years old. He helped lead, well, you know, age matters here. It's a succession plan that we're talking about at Morgan Stanley. And so he, um, he's a rising star. He helped lead it into the number one equity shop globally, uh, helping it um, surpass Goldman Sachs in stock trading. Then he moved over to run bond trading, and now he's running all of banking and trading operations. Separately, we have Frank Pettiga, who is uh, taking a greater role over international operations. He has been long time in London overseeing European investment banking operations and was co-head of the investment bank. It's fascinating, isn't it? There's always two. And it, it's almost like a race or maybe, a, a I don't know, like a wrestling match or something. Is that the case here? There's two here that were very clearly um, moved around significantly in this latest rendition. In 2016 was the last time people were really moved around and more people were moved around at that time. So uh, also at the top right now we have Andy Saperstein who helps co-lead wealth management. We have Dan Simkowitz who leads asset management. I mean the thing that's interesting about Morgan Stanley is there's a pretty deep bench all around but today is definitely pick stay to shine. And we now have one of the highest ranking female executives on Wall Street, Suzy Huang. Tell us a little bit about her. It's very exciting. Yeah, so she, I believe, in 2012 was elevated to lead, oh no, 2015, sorry, mm -hmm. to co-lead M&A in the Americas. And now, if you look at the league tables for M&A, Morgan Stanley is actually number one above J.P. Morgan, above Goldman Sachs. And now she's taking Frank Pettigas' position as co-head of the investment bank. And I suppose there's no question all of these people want this, right? Everyone wants wants to run Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs or whatever bank it may be. There's been a great deal of elevations. I mean, it was very well orchestrated. A lot of people were brought up at the same time today, so a lot of a lot of people should be happy in Times Square. It seems a little early, no? I mean, is James Gorman really thinking about leaving anytime soon? No, it is early. Nothing about this said that he was stepping down or anything like that. He did say a while ago that he would stay on for several more years, right? Um, at his annual meeting, I love this, somebody got up and said, you know, he called him the LeBron of Wall Street. <laughs> and and so he's he's on a high note right now, mm. um, and there's definitely you know things to be done. We've talked about the asset manager a lot needs to be grown. The wealth manager is you know quickly rising. So Shanali Balsak, wonderful story. Thank you.